We all love to laugh and relax, good comedies always help us in this. But it is not always possible to find a really funny and hilarious picture, especially if you take into account that the genre is in decline. Today I tried and remembered about 5 incredibly funny comedies that will captivate and make even the most sophisticated viewer laugh. Hysterically, these films have an inexpressible atmosphere and timeless humor, which will always be relevant. Well, let's begin. I hope you will appreciate my labors. Harry King is an alcoholic with a rock and roll life in his 40s. He can't forget the unfortunate feat of his school years. The Golden Mile, a grand run through 12 pubs in one night. Harry gathers his old team and five friends again return to his small hometown with one goal, to reach the cherished institution of the end of the world. But for some reason, no one in the town recognizes them, and a terrible threat lurks in the quiet pubs. Edgar Wright is a name now known to all fans of entertainment cinema. This is a man with his own style and self-irony, who was able to rebirth in his time-long dead genre of movie parodies. Of course, all his pictures are worthy of attention. But here I decided to remember and his most insane and underestimated movie, which refers and parades all possible cliches of movies about the apocalypse. In this movie, all plot twists and actions of the characters are brought to complete absurdity. What to say if throughout most of the movie heroes just booze in bars? In this movie, a simple Alcash with his stupidity was able to save the whole world. And how to look and find out for yourself. I can only note that the humor in this picture is perfectly combined with the general madness. The hapless thief is framed, but before that, he managed to hide the honestly obtained diamond in the ventilation shaft of an abandoned house. And when in a couple of years returning from prison for his treasure, Miles realizes that the diamond lies in the police station. Then he gets inside under the guise of a newly arrived cop and wants to just take his own and leave. But on his way stand all new obstacles. In a couple of hours he becomes the most famous cop in the station. But what happened next you better see for yourself. Usually I was very skeptical when people said that only one actor can pull the whole movie. But when I watched this comedy I realized that it really happens. The inimitable comedian Martin Lawrence just pulled off the whole movie often forgetting that there is a plot in it. And it is, and quite in the style of the 90s, the picture is full of funny jokes. Very strange but funny situations, but what else do you need for a good movie? Two young employees of an insurance company discovered that someone has received money for times on a dead man's insurance policy which they honestly reported to their boss Bernie, who is clearly living beyond his means. Bernie invited the guys for a weekend at his luxurious house on the ocean and at the same time asked his friends from the mafia to kill his overzealous subordinates. But the mob boss ordered Bernie himself to be killed after learning that he was ducking his mistress, which was done in the luxurious ocean house with a shot in the buttock. The guys who came for the weekend had to pass Bernie off as alive, which was not difficult, given the cheerful state of the many guests. A cult black comedy in which two friends try their best to pretend that their boss is alive and still can't get away from this ill-fated island, only after life's sense of humor and a great mood during the viewing period. In short, the standard of comedy of the 80s and all the moments with poor dead Bernie are just brilliantly hilarious. Sam Stone's most cherished dream was to get rid of his grumpy wife. And now his day has come his wife has been kidnapped in order to get a tidy sum. Naturally, Sam has no thoughts of parting with his blood money in exchange for his beloved wife. But he does not suspect that his wife has the ability to establish friendly relations even with gangsters. 
and One More Light and Lamp Comedy of the 80s, starring the inimitable Danny DeVito, who is tormented during his happy marriage dreams of getting rid of his harmful wife. And when he learns that she was kidnapped flies to the seventh heaven of happiness and immediately gets on the news while his beloved wife brings the kidnappers to the pen. As you realized, it is a very funny and black picture with plenty of anecdotal and insanely funny situations. Eccentric characters and multi-dimensional comedy combines and logically lead to a common denouement for plot lines, each of which is very funny in itself. Well, the hero Danny DeVito is not repulsive at all he even becomes a little pathetic. No one would wish to have the same wife. The blackest blackest Christmas picture ever. Willie is an unusual Santa Claus. Once a year at Christmas, he and his partner rob a department store. In addition, in the past he served time in prison, was married more than once. And now Willie is a vicious womanizer and a drunkard. He's a really bad, unbearable Santa, but there's a little boy who believes in him, and Willie will have to do real miracles to bring this time to the end. What this movie comedy became for me a discovery. Having watched it under the new year, I got a great pleasure. In fact, the fullest blackness about a complete pathogist alcoholic, who begins to live at the retarded boy, and the latter begins to believe in him. Surprisingly, in this black movie is laid a good thought. But as for the humor, there is a complete order with it, what only stands the constant statements of the main character. Of course, there are a lot of vulgar jokes, but unlike other similar pictures here, he is always in place and creates the atmosphere and images of the characters. Well, and some scenes, such as beating a schoolboy under the cheerful music. A fight in the ring at the end of which all got between will definitely cause laughter. Bad Santa is a great example of black comedy, which is worth watching at least for the sake of a completely different view of ordinary things.